So over here you can see that I have a DaVinci project and here uh, what you see on the bottom is a timeline. So you can also go around and create out multiple timelines as per how you like it. So to do that you can go around and right click over here on the media pool area and click on create new timeline. So once you go around over here you can see that you can set the stop time code and number of video tracks over here. But uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep it everything as it is right now. So I'm just going to create an empty timeline right here. And I'm going to create a name of a timeline right here as TutorTube just like this. So I'm just going to go around and say TutorTube timeline and I'm going to click on create. So once I do that here, you can see that a timeline has been created. So now you can see that I got around videos right here just like this. So I can go around over here and add in videos to this timeline right here. So another thing that I can do is I can also use the mini timeline right here on the top. So this is the main timeline as you can see over here. Um, uh, you see the detail version. So this is the mini version on the top. So what you can also do is you can go around and click and drag it out and then leave it, leave the clips over here on this timeline and it gets added over here on the main timeline as well as you can see just like that. So that is what you can do and then um, uh, uh, what, what you can also do around over here is to create now a new timelines. I'm just going to go around over here onto the master folder right here. You can go to file over here and click on new timeline over here as well just like this and create out another timeline right here. So you can go around over here onto file, onto new timeline right here just like this, name it whatever you want and click on create right here and there you go there's a new timeline over there as you can see just like that. So that is what you have right here. So you have a timeline. So this is the first timeline and you got the clips right here as you can see. There's another timeline right here. So these are like mini editing projects that you have within a single project right here. So if you want to work on a bunch of videos um, uh, that are related together, then you can create timeline like this as you can see just like that. So that is how you can go around and then work around with timeline and here in timeline you can add in images right here and so forth and manage things out just like that. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.